So far we have been talking about the equilibrium constant as a function of concentration, we call that Kc, and the, the unit of concentration that we will use typically is molarity, moles over liter, and in this case, for example, notice that we could just write the equilibrium constant as a function of concentration, that's fine. However, in some cases, when all the reactants and products are gases, you will see that we can write the equilibrium constant not as a function of concentration, but as a function of pressure. This what that's what we call Kp. Kp is equilibrium constant as a function of pressure. Kc is equilibrium constant as a function of concentration. Are those values the same? Well, notice that if we apply PV equals nRT and we move V to the other side, you have N over V, this is concentration, so concentration is directly proportional to pressure except for a factor of RT. So there you go, you have that pressure and concentration will be a similar amount except for RT. That means that if you have, and it's very easy to come up with this equation, but what this is saying is that if the number of molecules that you have on the left is the same number of molecules that you have on the right, Kc will be equal to Kp because the RT will be cancelling on both numerator and denominator. However, if you have, like in this case, you have three molecules as reactants, two molecules as products, you will have an RT factor in the denominator that will make it equal to Kc. Okay. Um, take home message is that you will see equilibrium constants in some reactions where all the reactants and products are gases, though that equilibrium constant may be expressed as a function of pressure. We call that Kp, and that Kp will only be equal to Kc if the number of reactants and products are the same. If not, you will carry around an RT factor either in the numerator or denominator. Um, another concept that we want to introduce is what happens when in the react in the re, in the reaction you have solids so let me make this cl very clear when you have solids in a reaction solids do not do not appear in equilibrium constants and that's very very important equilibrium constant it's not that it's very important, it's just that it's a very typical source of mistakes. Make sure that because the solids are not in direct contact with the gases or the liquids, it does not matter how much solid you have because you would need to take into account the surface of the solid. So uh, it's not intimately mixed, it's not a homogeneous mixture with, uh, with the gases and solids, therefore you cannot have a concentration. Do not include reactants or solids in the solid in in solid phase. Um, so in this case, if we were to write Kc and Kp, Kc would be concentration of reactants over products. Again, products is just oxygen, third, divided by reactants. But notice that you have reactants here being um, in solid phase, therefore we're just going to put one. Okay, so you just do not include them. And the same for Kp. Kp will be the pressure of oxygen to the third. Okay? Uh, this is very, very important, um, typically because you, we see, uh, we see uh, mistakes being made quite often.